Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 42 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're back to Agatha's for the final time, and I got that last bug for her. Actually, I don't ever even gave her the Dayfly. Even though I'm gonna, like, uh, max out my rupees anyway, I might as well just give it to her. Because now that I got the last bug, believe it or not, in an alternate universe, where that where was like no color at all, I got her a snail. Found in the sacred grove. Well, in a different time, of course. <laughs> oh, this means all the bugs have made it to the boss safely. Hehe, <laughs> and everyone has a partner. They all look so happy. You worked very hard. Your efforts will forever be passed down in the Insect Kingdom, brave knight. Please accept this declaration of honorable citizenship and the memento that goes along with it. Ah, the giant wallet. You can hold up to 1,000 rupees. <laughs> now, at this point, I mean, I've bought pretty much everything I need, so I likely will never be needing to spend rupees again unless I want to fill up on potions, and if I'm feeling too lazy to get them from Chews. That being said, however, we finally got that quest done for good. I no longer have to look for golden bugs again. Also, I decided to wait for it to be close tonight so that I can actually go back to where the Master Sword was and uh, get that Poe. Because there is a Poe in that area. So let me milk the time for what it's worth. Once I go down all these stairs, then I'll walk back to the Sacred Grove. Because then I'll be closer tonight. You know what, I think that's good enough. Oh yeah, that Goron will see me, that's right. I need to get over in this corner. That'll be better for us. Plus, even though it's not completely dark, we should still be able to get, like, a Poe to show up. Just remember, in the last episode, we unlocked this four point to the Sacred Grove, therefore we don't have to deal with the Skull Kid again. That guy was bad enough once, he had to deal with him twice. Okay, so let's go to where we got the Master Sword. A Poe should be there now. Why he wasn't there before, I have no idea. But, I digress. Hmm... Maybe it's not completely nighttime yet. But I think time actually advances here in the Sacred Grove. It does seem a bit dark. Let's try checking there again. Oh, there it is. It just wasn't dark enough. There. Ah, we got ourselves another pole. Now our total is at 51! How about that? I like that. We only have nine more to find in the entire game. That makes me so happy, knowing that we're getting closer and closer to side quests being done. If only I could find another heart piece sooner so I can, like, fill up on all my health without having to look for hearts. But you know what? I think we're gonna be just fine for the next temple. Get there, we of course gotta go through that door where all the color disappears. I just figured I'd get the giant wallet now so that when I find rupees in this dungeon, it won't feel like such a waste. Yeah, let's skip that, we already seen it. So, I can't believe we found the Temple of Time. Let's actually go to this room where we found the Master Sword. Because we've never really been in this room all the way. Looks so beautiful. I mean, look at it. Now let me strike this. See what happens. Ah, just by doing that with a Master Sword, we create a stairway that's going into one of the windows. Ugo, what are you doing here? Huh? There's a dungeon in there? How did the Yoko trigger it? Well, looks like we're going in there now. 
So this is the sixth dungeon of the game. The Temple of Time is actually a dungeon. How about that? Oh, it actually looks so beautiful. But so haunting at the same time because look how big it is. And so empty. Oh, there's a giant bell over there. Can I hit it? Oh, it doesn't even ring. Okay, that's, that's weird. Link! Don't you think there's something odd about that statue? In the grove and in the temple entry, there were always matching ones on each side. But there's only one here! Why don't you use your senses to take a look around? Seems like a pretty obvious hint. I don't know how a statue is going to smell. I knew it! There was one more here originally. We need to find the other statue in this temple that matches that one. Okay, well, I don't need to be a wolf anymore. Unless the circumstance warrants it. Hmm, huh, this looks like a pressure switch. I know, Link, you like to smash pots, but you're gonna have to keep this one active. Uh, the other one you don't need to worry about. Because as soon as I, like, throw that away... And that thing is going to fall. And I can't climb up. Why well, couldn't, like, uh, be doing this in wolf form? Like, I could have easily leapt up there. But, fair enough. Guess we have to do it this way. Hmm! Not so fast! At last! This is it! This is where I've been trying to get to! The ancient technology where people sleeps in this place. We searched all over, and now we're so close I can smell it. Once we find that thing, we can go home at last. Oh, gracious, yes. Um, young man, we're so close, so please help us find what we're looking for. I never thought these strange creatures would actually have their own kind of story. But apparently they do. Also, before we leave, I might as well light up these torches. Because <laughs> I have a feeling something big is going to happen if I do. So, let's grab this treasure. What's it going to get me? Hmm, looks like a key. It was a key. Alright. I remember this dungeon actually confusing me in the past. But it's not going to confuse me this time. Uh, maybe it will, but not so badly as before. Also, how many floors? Oh my god. One, two... There's like eight floors here! So this is going to be a very large dungeon. And there's a gum over here, so it's a spider with four legs. You can actually use your claw shot on them, which is very convenient. Alright, that's, that's that bell again, but it's actually raised. Okay, and I see some kind of barricade that I can't do anything with, and there's one of those pressure switches. So let me get another pot ready. And I'll weigh it down. Right over here. Huh. And now, like, some of those gates are open, but the other one's closed. I got arrows! Why would they give me arrows? Maybe that's a hint towards something. Yeah, I'm sure you can figure it out. Because I sure as hell did. Also, let me take care of that Goma. There we go. Oh, but now that gate's in the way. Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. I actually need to destroy this pot on purpose. So that that gate can close, but this one will open. Oh, Lazalfos. Aw. Oh, I could not use my uh, mortal draw because I have my claw shout up. So I took some unnecessary damage there, but that's okay. Did I? Oh, yeah, when, whenever they hit you, you get your weapon up right away. Oh, that did not work the way I wanted it to. 
So yeah, we're gonna be dealing with some Lizalfoses here. Oh, there's another enemy. This is an Armos. Okay. There is a way to easily defeat them. Like, you need to hit that little button on their behind, and then you'll be able to destroy them. So, why don't I use a bomb and see if I can blow it up without waking it up? Which I failed to do. Oh! I gotta try to get behind it somehow. Oh, he actually telegraphed that. Yeah, usually when you do the, the back slice, it actually leaves you more vulnerable. So by destroying that Armos, now we created that chest. I always found it very weird that just killing enemies can cause chests to magically spawn. I see some keys is over there. Hanging on the stained glass windows. So might as well get rid of them now. There's a small chest as well. So why don't I check that out shortly? Oh, thought there'd be another key, sir. But it's not there. So let me get the 20 rupees. Okay. Let me open this chest first. This must be the map. Lo and behold, it is. Okay, so I'm guessing the floors are going to be small. Yeah, they don't even look that large. I mean, it intimidates you seeing like eight floors, but the floors themselves are not that big. Ha! Sniper! Alrighty then. Let me try using these things to weigh that switch down. Yeah, I guess I can use a pot as well. It doesn't really matter. Just as these little small statues cannot be destroyed. So in case there's like any enemies that can destroy the pots and screwing your puzzle over, these statues, well, are pretty much your solution. This is not a switch, is it? This is a claw shot emblem. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, fair enough. Let me get my sword out rather than a claw shot. Okay, the next room looks pretty large. Oh yeah, it definitely looks large. And there's some kind of electric barrier. And let me finish off this Lazalfos and deal with the next one. There, use the helm splitter. Yeah! Okay, is that all the major enemies around here? No. Oh god, there's two of them! There, get this one killed! Just keep stabbing this guy in the neck. And that's all she wrote. Oh, there's another one. Sometimes the backslice is risky because they do have axe tails. They can actually hit you with them. There's a Poe over there. But I can't do anything about that barricade yet. Oh, oh. It's a Beemos. Huh, I could, thought I could actually hit that eye from there. So rather than risk it, you know what, I'm just gonna... Oh god, there's another one of these scum. Ah! Oh, I don't have my sword out! That's why I couldn't use the finishing strike. Well, I can now! Right in the ass! That's right, I have my bow and arrow out. It looks like there's a little few bugs. Okay, so this is a new type of Beemos. But they can die the exact same way. There, let me replenish my arrows. Oh, that pot actually had two hearts. Somebody up there likes me. Let me try climbing up these stairs. Because I have a feeling this room's going to be important. Yeah, no door in there. Fair enough. Oh, I'm going to need my spinner this time. Oh, 
Oh, that's very convenient. Just put some rails right there. Oh, I need a key. Fair enough. Ugh, play traps. Okay, clockwise makes it go up. I think I actually want it to go down. That's weird. Like, I went up, and then I went straight down. Okay, Goma larvae are very annoying. But you can actually use your spinner against them. Just make sure you're actually using your blade attack. Good thing is, they actually can't hurt you when you're on the spinner. They get very cumbersome. There's so many around you at once. I don't know if I actually have to destroy them all, so I'm going to do it anyway. No, I think my claw shot works just as nice, too. If you can Zed target them, you just do it one at a time. Oh, yeah. Extermination! Yeah, cornered him. Beautiful. Hmm, and that destroyed the, uh, the electric barrier. I think I need to take this with me. I did see a statue there for no reason. I'm thinking, what purpose did it serve? Uh, do I need to go... I think this is the right level, but I need to get around these blade traps. Okay, be careful. Oh, I could have grabbed another one of those, actually. So maybe it wasn't necessary. That was close. Oh, maybe I need two of them. Oh, I did not weigh down. Let's try this. And let me grab the other one. Yeah, because there was only one, but there was two switches. That makes sense now. Alright, let me stand on this, and then I'll put the switch down. Perfect. Maybe this is the way I gotta go to get a key. I don't know how I feel about this room. Okay, there's a lot of Armos. Hmm. What if I can sneak around them? Because if I can, maybe I can, like, throw a bomb. That might actually wake it up, though. Oh, get out of there! I think the ball and chain also works on the Armos as well. So let me try that. Good, I can actually view the, uh, thing. Oh, that did not work. But you can actually stun them this way. And then you can actually use the ball and chain again to get the finishing blow. Like so. It's tricky. Bombs are definitely more practical since you only need one of them. But you have to aim it just right. So that can be very annoying very fast. Oh, now we can get back out. So I guess that's the game's way of saying you need this chest. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, okay, that's the key for the locked door. Gotcha. There was nothing over here. Let me go to this area. And we got ourselves 20 rupees. Eh, whatever. A chest is a chest, I suppose. I don't know if anybody in uh, plastic surgery would think so. Otherwise, they'd be out of business. <laughs> but, oh well. That's not my prerogative. Because I'm not into plastic surgery. Definitely not into fake boobs, either. The 
more real, the better, in my opinion. Alright, so, I guess we can check out this room. We'll definitely be doing a nice bit of backtracking later on. Oh, this room looks huge. Oh, I thought I could actually just get him. There, get rid of that Beamos. Can't go any further. So let me strike that switch. And I'll cause the balls to shift. But then some of them will be closed. So, that means you gotta hit that switch again, this time from a little bit further. Like so. And I think these pods are gonna have, like, plenty of arrows, so... Let me reposition myself, that's better. Okay, so far so good. Take out this other Beamos. Oh, those are pretty bad shots. Done. <laughs> Don't even know why I hit that pillar. I was like, screw you, pillar! Ah, oh, this must be the compass! Okay. Okay, we're making a nice bit of progress here. Hopefully I didn't miss too many chests. Okay, now I gotta hit this switch again. Can you imagine if they modded this game so that you actually don't have that red targeting reticule? Then you have to, like, uh, just rely on your own skills. Some people might actually like that. Okay, it looks like the claw shot is good for stunning these guys. I never really understood these other Lizalfos, the ones with the uh, masks. Are they supposed to be tougher? I don't know. Oh, there's another one of those switches. So, let us advance. Okay, here's a new kind of Lizalfos. These are actually called Dinalfos, and there are actually the upgraded versions. This one probably doesn't see me. So, if I can sneak in a bomb arrow, like so, I can kill it instantly! Wait, wait. That, that was a regular Lizalfos. I just killed a Dinalfos. As you can see, they're a lot bigger than regular Lizalfos. Can't do anything about that yet. No, 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 what, what are you doing? Take off the combo. I want to use regular arrows for this. If only I could do something about that barricade on that electric force field, but I can't yet. Maybe later I can, but let's remember that. Okay, this time we actually had to fight a Denophilus. As you can see, it's actually much, much smarter. Wait for it to attack me. Man, even then, you might barely hit it. It's actually very smart. Oh, got some strikes in. You can knock it down, but it's gonna get back up right away. If you time it just right, while they're recovering, get a jump attack in, and you'll knock them down again. It's tricky, though, so make sure you know what you're doing. Oh, I can't hit that switch from here. Now I can. Wait a minute, I can get to the other side of that. Wait a minute, no, no, I can't. I'm actually stuck. Well, no, no, not necessarily. It's not like I can really get to what's over here anyway. Maybe later on I will, but for now, I guess we're just gonna have to leave that alone. Okay, you know what? Now be a good time to end the episode here, and in the next part, we're gonna continue exploring the Temple of Time. See everybody, thanks for watching.